Hey everyone. Well, with 2022 here, I'm looking for uh, things that could add a little more storage or organization to my planners and my planner setup. And this company reached out to me by email, T-Movo. Um, they have something called a budget binder. So on Amazon is where this can be found. I'll put a link below. Um, this one is called their A6 budget binder. And um, they have three different colors. One is like more of a pink purple. Another one is a bluish green. And then this one is like an opal color. So I'll show you what it looks like inside. So it's one of those really fun clear vinyl covers. It has a gold button here, which matches the confetti very well. But then right here, this part is rose gold and the back looks just like the front. It also comes with these stickers so that you can label the front of each pouch if you like with a specific name. So for me personally, especially during a pandemic, using cash isn't one of those things that I'm doing right now. Um, we're doing a lot of Instacart, probably the same for you, curbside pickup. So using a budget planner with cash in this type of setup isn't really practical for me day to day. But I thought of a different way that this would be useful for me and all my planner stuff. So when you open it, you'll see it has all these vinyl pockets. They are gonna be bunched up a little bit because of the number of zippers. There's just really no way for them to avoid that. So I'm not giving them a negative on that. That's just the fact of what's gonna happen with having this many zipper pouches. They also give us some paper in the back and then there's the back cover. So this reminds me a lot of the setup of a Filofax. Um, not the super, super tiny one. I guess it's called personal size. Um, so, and I'll show you a true A6 in comparison to this real quick. So this is my Hobonichi uh, cover in an A6. Let me just show you overall. So you'll see with the Hobonichi cover, which is actually bigger than a standard A6, uh, this binder is still bigger than that. So even though it's advertised as A6, just letting you know, it is bigger than a standard A6 size paper. So this um, pencil board that I have in here is the size of an A6 page. So, so let me show you the inside. So if I open this and I put my pencil board in here, you'll see that the whole zipper pouch width is an A6 width. It's still a little bit taller than a usual A6, but it is the A6 width. So that will kind of give you an idea of true A6 versus this being advertised as an A6 binder. So another comparison, I have an A5. This is my Hobonichi A5 cover. And man, I don't know if I can fit it on screen here. So this is what it looks like compared to my A5 Hobonichi. It's almost the same width, and it's about an inch shorter than the Hobonichi A5 cover. So, um, if I put it in here, You'll see the actual binder itself is about the size of a true A5, um, A5 sheet of paper. So hopefully that helps you with measurements. So how can I practically use this and what will fit in it? Well, I tried some of my accessories and some of the biggest issues I have are my sticker sheets. So, this is my Hobonichi drawer pouch. So if you have any of those little stencils from Hobonichi, 
Those will fit in here just fine. This is an A6 post-it note, sticky note, those clear sticky notes. And you can see they're too wide, they will not fit. So if you have something that's a true A6 size sticker sheet, then it is not going to fit in here. What will fit though is, let me pull out some of these. So these are some diary stickers that I've had from various companies over the years. And I forget about them because they are just stashed away. You know, they're, they just get lost in what I have. So I thought that this would be the perfect way to use these. For example, I can double side them this way. So these are, I believe, Korean, Korean uh, called diary stickers that I found off of eBay years ago. And I've just failed to use them because I forget that I have them. But this makes a really nice way to store them and be able to flip through them and see what I have. I thought I would also try and see if my Hobonichi ones fit in here or not. Nope, they do not. So again, the Hobonichi ones are a true A6. If I hold up that Hobonichi pencil board, um, the Hobonichi stickers are an A6 size. They will not fit in here. But these smaller diary stickers absolutely fit. this way. What I really want to use these in are my Jibun Techo. Um, my Jibun Techo is a very minimalistic style of planning um, because it, it's my work planner and these will just add a little bit of color. I can highlight a few things here and there and I really want to put these stickers to use. So um, I thought this would be the perfect way to finally use up these stickers. They're super cute. A lot of them have like grid lines. This one has like airmail. Looks very similar to the ones from Hobonichi and Traveler's Company. So by putting two at a time, I can clearly see what's on each side. So I thought I would check and see. These are the Stalogy, um, or it's made by High Tide, excuse me. High Tide, um, again, these usually fit in my A6 with my Hobonichi, but when I compare the size here, it would be, I would end up squishing it. I would have to cut off a row or two in order to make this fit. So the high tide ones from Hoenichi, those will not fit in here either. I'm just trying to see if there's a measurement on it. No, it doesn't. But I'm going to guess it's probably really close to A6. Yeah. Those sticker sheets are A6 as well. So this one because of the where the binder rings are, you cannot fit a true A6 sticker sheet in here. It will have to be something more narrow. Um, something else that would fit nicely in here are those like Kita washi tape stacks and even like these little notepads from, from Hoenichi. Those would fit in here as well. So just any small loose end items that you have will fit perfect inside of this. But I'm really looking forward to finally utilizing these cute little stickers that I've had for a long time. Um, they're very inexpensive. Again, they're called diary stickers. Um, I believe these were Korean brands that I got years ago. And these kinds of little things fit in here just perfectly. 
So I'm gonna move some around a little bit. I'll move these to the back. I'm gonna put, since this is all I have of these, I'm just gonna put two per clear pouch so I can see easily what's on each side. So it's nice because these are kind of like an off size. They're not, you know, the size of my typical planner items. Um, so I don't really have a pouch that's kept these in a great way without just leaving them all stacked together like I did inside of my drawer pouch. And then I forget about them because they're just in there and I can't see the designs and I don't have the time to fumble through them all to find what I'm looking for. This way, it'll be a lot faster. So this is a great little binder for sticker storage. Um, I also thought it would be a great gift for girls that are just getting into planning. I have some English students that are um, elementary school age and they're just starting to get into bullet journaling and things like that. So this would be a nice inexpensive gift to get off of Amazon, fill it with some stickers, give them their first bullet journal, um, they can even download stickers off of the internet, like one of my students does, and they could cut out those pictures on sticker paper, and they can store those stickers that they've printed and put those in here as well. So that's another thing I plan to do with this. I have a lot of um, copyright-free images, vintage images that I've downloaded over the years um, that I want to print out from old vintage publications and I forget about them. So I thought this would be another great place to store some of those. So again, the name of this company is, this is the name of the company, and I will make sure to link them below. And if you enjoy planners and sticker storage, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.